Uh, I suppose when you're talking about vaccines and you're talking about the, I guess, the structure of the virus itself, we, we, we talk about glycoproteins and the spike protein. Um, how does all that work in terms of, in layman's terms, uh, entry into cells and replication? Well, basically the bar virus binds to the cell. It binds to a, a molecule on the cell called ACE2. Mm. And this particular virus binds very tightly to that. And it binds what, through what's called the RBD, the receptor binding domain on the, H, on, the, on the spike protein of the virus. You know, you can see it on the pictures of the virus. So uh, the, uh, the vaccines are kind of directed against that spike protein. All the ones I know about that look to be well ahead are, developed, are directed either against protein or some sort of genetic delivery system that would make protein, either by just giving the genes themselves or by putting them in a virus vector like AD5 or something of that sort. So that's basically the strategy. But there are also other strategies out there that would use uh, a, what was called a VLP, a virus-like particle. This is the strategy that's uh, used in Ian Fraser's uh, human papillomavirus vaccine. Uh, we've got one of those vaccines under development at our institute. There are also several others around the country, I think. And they will be um, uh, the possibilities to test as backup products. We'll certainly take them through um, small animals to test and we'll see how they go. Uh, we don't know. And, uh, but they, would have, they could have, depending on how the virus-like particle was made, they could have a much broader spectrum of, uh, uh, of the virus proteins in them.